Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I'm wearing my Mayan princess outfit today. I hope you like it okay. Uh, I have a story to relate. I was on my way to church on the weekend and when I went to get into the parking lot there was a lady standing there, a young lady, uh, to usher the cars into the parking lot. I was very surprised. And she had on uh, an outfit that was very eye-catching. She was wearing those stiletto heels and a sheer black pantyhose with decorations on it and a car coat. And as far as the person could tell, that might be all she was wearing. And as I entered the parking lot, I began to wonder if maybe she was one of the, the trans people I've been seeing over that way in, at the service from time to time. And then I thought to myself, no, this is a person born as a female and dressed just very nicely for the holidays. And that got me to thinking, it's taken a few days. I'm thinking that, you know, that trans look is so very enticing. Uh, it's all a rage these days, truly it is, and it's difficult for a woman to, to keep up with that and to attract any attention whatsoever. And I'm thinking that this lady in the parking lot might have had the right idea to get a kind of a, a, a trance look that will attract the attention of the gentleman and perhaps win her a spouse or a lifelong friend. And uh, in that way she can compete some, you know. Um, so we may be seeing more of that in the coming year, I feel, uh, of women, naturally born as women, who become more trans than trans so that they can get their fair market share of what's out there in terms of spouses. That's what I think. Um, this is a pragmatic profit in me speaking about that thing. Then uh, I just have a caveat for the ladies, you know, if in fact this prophecy does prove true, we need to keep in mind, don't you know, uh, not to meet the gentlemen of the congregation, the gentlemen who are dressed as gentlemen, in the restrooms of the, of, of the church, because we, we ladies who were born as women, we have something that no man can equal, and that is the ability to bear children. We can have children. Now that has its downside, don't you know? So our looks will be so fetching, it will be difficult, especially if we walk into the men's room, it would be very difficult for the gentleman to avoid, you know, becoming enamored of us, I feel. Best to stay, despite our garb, best to stay in the women's room, I feel. And that way there'll be no unwanted pregnancies be before we get those golden wedding rings. So. Uh, I'm speaking to the young ladies in the congregation as, of course, I'm past marrying age myself and, and it, it doesn't really apply to me. It's just a trend I'm observing. I'm offering you a heads up. We need, to, we need to stand our ground. We need to be right there in the competition, I feel. We need to be more trans than trans if we're in the market for a man. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days in love, light, and joy. This is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars and so are you. Come and visit me at my website, Awakening with Planet Earth. HTTPS colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. See you there.